Hi, this is Ashley Holmes and Andy Grammer. And you're watching BuzzNet. What do you love most about being a Mentos Rock Ambassador? The best thing about being a Mentos Rock Ambassador is being able to give instruments and uniforms and stuff to kids in high schools and middle schools across the country. It's a really cool thing to show up and give kids what they need and also just get to meet them and, and have a lot of fun. How did you get involved with this? Um, you know, I, I kind of met with Mentos and we found out that we both had similar passions about supporting music in public schools and so it just kind of worked out. Who are some of your inspirations from your music? Yeah, I remember I love I love Lauren Hill. I think she does a great, she's an inspirational artist. I'm a huge fan of Coldplay, of a lot of hip hop. Um, yeah, hopefully a bunch of those. Mm -hmm. I heard you're going on tour with Gavin DeGraw and Colby Kelly this summer. Can you tell me a little more about that? Yeah, you know, I, I've been on tour with Colby Clay before. She's actually a great friend of mine, and I'm re I really respect her as an artist. And this is the first time that I'm going to go out with Gavin DeGraw, whose voice and his songwriting, I'm just, I'm so excited. The, th the three of us are going to have an unbelievable time. And later this summer, you'll be with Train, right? Yeah, Train and Matt Kearney. It's going to be the coolest oh, thing Oh, Matt ever. Kearney, yeah. I love him. Awesome. What's your uh, favorite memory from middle school? Okay, my favorite middle school memory... This is gonna sound really stupid, but they had these warm cookies. <laughs> yeah. I remember like that was like the best part. I yeah. would get to, to lunch and wolf down whatever I had so that I could go and spend 50 cents on the best warm. They would just fall apart in your hands, warm cookies. The best. In January of 2011, uh, Billboard magazine named you um, artist to watch. So a year later, how, like, how, how do you feel about all that, how you, what you've accomplished in a year? Uh, it's been a pretty cool year. And at any time that you know, a publication like Billboard gives you a shout out, it's the coolest thing ever. Yeah. Um, I hope that I lived up to the artist to watch uh, title. I've had a great time and I, have, I haven't been home. I've just been running around the country meeting a bunch of people who are into the same kind of music that I am. So I've, I've personally had a fantastic year. It's been a really unbelievable ride and uh, I hope this year will go even further. What inspired you to write Fine By Me? Fine By Me, uh, I wrote because I fell in love actually. Yeah, totally. And. Um, I think it's the, the essence of Fine By Me is that guys are, we're, we're kind of timid in the beginning, but then if you get us, then we're all in. So it's the kind of, it's Fine By Me, it's like a casual phrase, like if you, if you lay with me for the rest of my life through eternity, I love you to death. Oh my God. Oh yeah. my God. I see that you're always talking to your fans on Twitter. Why is that so important to you? Uh, well, you know, the fans are the whole reason I get to do this at all. And I think it's just such a great time in music where I can be so closely connected to all, my, all the people that enjoy my music. Uh, usually, at least once or twice a week, I like to just have conversations. I'll reply to everybody that, that hits me up. And uh, I just, yeah, there's just never been a time where you can be so connected so uh, immediately to anybody that's into what you're doing. Mm -hmm. So I, I like to try to get feedback and give birthday shout outs and have conversations. So, that's great. At Andy Grammer, please come say, say what's up to me on Twitter.